edition of Computer Doctor. I'm your host Michael Frushauer and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to install RAM chips into your computer. Okay so RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It allows stored data to be accessed in very nearly the same amount of time for any storage location. So data can be accessed quickly in any random order. Uh, there are three different types of of RAM chips. There are DDR1s, 2s, and 3s. Today I'm going to show you how to install any DDR chip because they're, they're all installed the same way into the computer motherboard um, slot, RAM slots of your computer. Very simple, very, very simple. Um, I would say even a child <laughs> would be able to do this. Now let me just explain what RAM does. RAM allows uh, multitasking capabilities to uh, be improved um, very greatly. If, if you want to think of it as a highway, it's not going to increase the speed of your computer, but instead it's going to, for example, uh, add more lanes to a highway to allow multi, uh, multitasking capabilities to run more smoother to prevent crashes and freezes and etc. So let's get started. Very simple. Uh, you want to lay down your computer where the slide panel is facing up towards you. You're going to disconnect the thumb screws, the two thumb screws that are on the side of your computer. Just very simply disconnect these. You shouldn't need a screw for this. Um, should be very easily to disconnect. That's why they're called the thumb screws to disconnect with your hands. Um, now slide off the um, side panel of your computer. Put it aside. Okay. And so let's get started. Uh, your RAM chips in this computer are connected right here. I have three already um, connected right here. Um, I have two DDR2s and one DDR1 model RAM chip connected into my computer. Because I'm using an old model computer, that's probably the reason why there's a DDR1 chip, the very first uh, RAM chip um, created, uh, because this is an old model. Most um, computers like Windows Vista, Windows 7, um, they have a DDR3 chip built in. Um, they will also accept the DDR2. I am not sure if they'll accept a DDR1, but I would not recommend installing a DDR1 chip um, into a new version operating system computer. Uh, but very simple, let's take our new DDR2 chip that we have here and you're going to want to connect this to your computer motherboard. So let's first disconnect the RAM chip that you would like to, uh, to get rid of and make the upgrade with your new RAM chip. Most likely um, it's because it's a higher gig um, and it'll perform better and faster on your computer. We're gonna say we're gonna get rid of this one. Very simple, you just take the two slots out um, to the side and disconnect it. Let me show you using my motherboard um, example here. Let's say that the RAM chip's already installed. Um, just connect this really quick here. Second. Okay, so let's say that the RAM chip is already installed on the computer. All we're doing is taking these side clips and um, separating it from the RAM chip and just simply pull up on it and the RAM chip should be di uh, disconnected from your computer's motherboard. Now you're going to take your new RAM chip 
and very gently connect it in between the slots and push down so that it's securely connected into the port, the RAM port on your computer motherboard. Now you're going to want to connect the two side panels back to the RAM chip. Um, if you have a problem doing this, there's most, there's most likely a chance that you did not connect it properly like I did here. So disconnect it. Uh, my case was that I installed it um, the opposite way. You have to make sure that it's perfectly connected to your computer or else your computer won't recognize it and um, you will not be able to use the, the RAM chip um, that you just recently installed. Like I just showed, you're going to want to connect it um, in between the slots, put the con two connectors to secure it in its location, and you should be done. Now you just want to put your computer cover panel back on. Like that, secure the thumb screws back into your computer, and get this last one here. All right, and that's it. Plug in your uh, cables back to the back panel of your computer. Plug in the power, turn it on. Uh, give it a second to recognize your new RAM chip, and you should now have your new RAM chip successfully connected. To your